Today, I'd like to talk about, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. To bear false witness means to say something about someone that's not true. What difference could it make if someone lies about what they saw for whatever reason? Well, it could be the difference between life and death. The Torah says in Devarim, Deuteronomy, not to accept bribes, but they blind the eyes of the just. And later it says we need two or three witnesses before we can put anyone to death, not just one. How many people have been falsely accused or are in prison or in trouble with family or friends because of false witness? False witness can also refer to gossip. When we speak about someone behind their back to destroy their character, that's what false witness is. That's what gossip is. It's not the same as when two people are talking about someone because they want to help them. It has to do with intention. How often are we caught gossiping or even listening to gossip? Why is this so important that our creator took the time to write it in the commandment? He said that we are made in his image, referring to his characteristics, not his physique. When he breathed life into us, he transferred aspects of who he is into us. The ability to reason, to think beyond instinct, to make choices, to love, to feel emotion, including fear and anger. When we bear false witness, we are denigrating our God. What were Miriam and Aaron doing when they spoke to others behind their brother's backs by saying, has the Lord spoken only through Moses? Weren't they questioning the leadership that God had given him? And by so doing, they challenged the creator himself and put the seed of doubt into the others who listened. We can be so easily influenced by gossip. When we demean someone in order to lift ourselves up, we are really demeaning the creator himself. Miriam ended up with a skin disease, forcing her outside the camp, alone in the desert for seven days, isolated from family and friends. <laughs> That was the ultimate timeout. It must have been so frightening. No one could survive alone in the desert. It did give her time, however, to think about what she had done. That was the consequence for her Lashon Hara, her evil tongue. What about ours? These last five commandments teach us boundaries. My rabbi used to say, my rights end where your rights begin. It may seem simple, but they're so hard to do. How often are we tempted to talk to somebody about a person who may have said or done something to hurt us, whether on purpose or not? It's usually because we don't have the courage to confront the other person face to face. But if we judge them without finding out their perspective, then we talk about it to someone else. This not only hurts us, but everyone involved. If you get caught, listening to gossip. Tell that person that if they don't deal with it within one week, you'll have to let the other person know because now they've involved you. If Miriam came down with Sa'arat, the skin disease, let's you and I be careful. It could be that we might get sick without knowing why. False witness, fake news, gossip, these are all spiritual diseases and they're spreading around the world as we speak. These stories in the Torah were written for our good. Let's do the right thing instead of learning the hard way. It's not what we do wrong that matters to God. It's what we do to make things right that counts. And let's not judge others and then speak about them behind their backs. Rather, let's do what our Rabbi Yeshua told us. Don't try to remove the splinter of wood in someone else's eye. Rather, take the log out of your own eye. That's the only way we're going to change this world. It begins by changing ourselves. And these Ten Commandments are really all we need to keep, each of us. And that will multiply exponentially. Thank you for taking time to listen. Please let me know what you think about my videos and our videos in the congregation. Forward them to your family, to your friends, especially to your enemies. Let's teach them to our kids. Please press the subscribe button and the notification button so that you won't miss any of our teachings. 
which comes straight from the Torah and are meant for the world. Have a wonderful day.